Hello and welcome, my name is Mr. QB. In this video, we'll be learning how to make another trap. I'll roll a clip to demonstrate it in full effect. As you can see, this trap aims to capture its victims inside a small room and locks them in there forever. If you don't have access to a block protection mod on a server or anything like that, I recommend building a trap room completely out of obsidian or even bedrock if you can, if you really want to ensure the capture of your target. Now without any further ado, I'll show you how to build a compact version of this trap to get you started. Thankfully, it's very easy to make. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be building this trap three blocks above ground level so everything can be clearly seen from all angles. If you want to build this exactly at ground level, make a two block ditch, at least 12 blocks in length and width to give yourself enough room. Our first step is to map out the floor. Thankfully, it's very simple, so follow what I do here with stone and grass. Grass will be the outside of the trap and the stone will be the floor for the room. Now to make the redstone mechanism, which is also very simple. Start off by laying out the bodywork for our redstone to sit on. I'll be using white wool for this. Next, place two sticky pistons above one another, facing towards your flooring. Choose a block that you want to act as a sliding wall, then place one on each sticky piston, like so. After that, place down a stone pressure plate on this grass block before the stone floor. Now follow where I place in the redstone and redstone torch. After placing in the redstone torch, you'll see the pistons activate. The position they're in now is the closed position. Walking over the pressure plates will slide open the wall and close soon after you step off. So that right there is the trap. It's up to you how you decide to shape your room and bait your target inside. However, there are a couple things I'll let you in on. First and foremost, if you use a wooden pressure plate, you're able to keep the sliding wall open by dropping an item onto the pressure plate. If you use a stone pressure plate, this is not possible. It's up to you which of the two options suits you best. Now all that's needed is to set up the entrance of the trap and the capture room itself. While I let the footage roll on how I build the two, I can give a few tips on how to bait your victim in effectively. Like we've already included, make the turn at the end of the room as intriguing as possible. This will increase the odds of them stepping forward off the pressure plate to see what's around the corner, in which once they've done that, you've got them. Next, the only light source inside the room should be coming from around the corner. This grabs their attention as the light source could suggest many things. Also, the room has to look intriguing and interesting. Unlike this demo, place down a chest that's visible from the pressure plate. This too is a good method for encouraging them to walk in. Lastly, including a door in front of the pressure plate is a great way to draw them in to begin with, as opposed to just a pressure plate. To most people, a closed door to a room they haven't seen before and are free to enter can be quite compelling. Plus, the door will shut upon stepping off the pressure plate, so it's a bonus that works nicely with the design. That's some friendly advice to get you started, and it's all up to you how you'd like to run away with the design. So go ahead and make any adjustments you wish to implement. Thanks very much to one of my team members, CodeCo, for condensing the design of this simple yet magnificent little trap. If you're interested in trapping more people in more ways, I have a whole heap of different trap tutorials over on my channel. Some of them are 
quite brutal, so beware. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>